What is up YouTube, Ultima Lock here, this is Pokemon Go episode 2, so yeah, I have a ton of gameplay footage to show you guys, I did lose some of my gameplay footage because the video recording software that I'm using on my phone did not record properly, I still have all the GoPro footage, but without the Go with the GoPro footage, without the actual screen recording footage from my phone, it's kind of pointless to uh, upload that, so I'm just going to scrap everything from day 2 and only use the stuff from day 1. Essentially in day 2 I ended up getting a Starmie, Magmar, and some other Pokemon. Nothing like too major, uh, I did get a Scyther on day 2 and some stuff like that which a lot of people would consider kind of major but I've already captured uh, a Scyther at least. Uh, what else did I get? Uh, Tangelita and uh, I think an Ivysaur and a lot of other stuff that uh, is not too major. But uh, yeah, so you can see here, I'm scrolling down. I did only, I had like 200 and like, uh, I want to say, what was it, 220 Pokemon. But I, I checked all their IVs and only one of them actually had one uh, good IVs. But that was the one that was very important. So I was very, very happy on that one. But pretty much everything else I just released. Then uh, by day number two. Going through, I ended up capturing 106 Pokemon, so it's been pretty insane. And I have some uh, gameplay footage I'm going to show you guys, so uh, without further ado, let's get started. Okay. There it is! A Dragonair! Oh yeah! So, I finally got the no, encounter. No, no, no. It, it, it took cool. so long to find this Pokemon. And and there's the the fails on throwing the Great Balls. Oh, I probably don't even have an egg on right now. Holy crap, we finally got the Dragonair. It was so annoying. All right, since we got the encounter down, let's get the hell out of here. Oh shit, oh no, I do have the egg active. Freaking finally a Dragonair, yes! Hopefully it's a good one. Okay, is this a Dragonair spawn? No, it's probably not. All right, let's go look for our next uh, MVP Pokemon. All right, now let's go on to the next clip. Uh, the next clip is me hatching some eggs, and I ended up picking up some really good stuff from the eggs. Uh, a few of the rare Pokemon. These are all 5k eggs, so I ended up hatching six of them simultaneously. Here's, uh, here's all the egg hatchings. There's gonna be six of them. Okay, that's pretty awesome. 475. Um, I was... I want to say the eggs are based on level now. Cubone, that's good. 359, because I think I got these eggs when I was like level 12-ish. Level 12 to level 13. Ooh, a ghastly. Holy crap, a Porygon! That is new. I hope I have an egg, right? A uh, lucky egg going on in. Oh man, I don't, do I? Oh no, I do. Is that a Pidgeotto or is that a Pidgeot? Grimer? That's, that's new to the Pokedex. Yeah, I set up all these eggs to go off simultaneously, so it took a lot of work, but definitely worthwhile. Yeah. Awesome, awesome. Okay. Don't hit me, please. Okay, pulled out with that car, so they're already stopped. Okay. Okay. And here is where the... Oh shit, that's a gloom. That was actually not a part of the plan, but we're grabbing it anyways.
Uh, crap. I don't have an egg active, so that's only going to be 600 XP. Falling behind, man. So yeah, as you can see from there, uh, I ended up getting the gloom. It was freaking awesome. Uh, the only downside was is that obviously because I got the gloom, I ended up missing uh, another Pokemon, which was the Tentacruel, which I actually still need to this day. So hopefully I'll get that today. But uh, yeah, it's been, been freaking awesome. Uh, let me go over all the Pokemon that I have right now. So uh, the major ones that I got was, I consider major, I would go with Seedra, Magmar, uh, Pinsir, Ivysaur. Poliwhirl, uh, Growlithe I got from an egg, which is really good, uh, a Scyther 6-7, six, uh, six, uh, Seedra, Gloom, Venonat, uh, another Pinsir, some Eevees, a uh, Starmie, Starmie's, uh, let's actually check this, uh, Spy Beam, Psy Beam, uh, I don't think that's too amazing, so, actually I don't think that's amazing at all. So that's sad. Uh, another Poliwhirl. Ivysaur. Porygon. Porygon's like probably the rarest thing I have right now. It's... I, I've been told that it's literally the hardest egg type Pokemon to get. Or I should say Pokemon to find in the wild and in an egg. So it's pretty damn good. Uh, Grimer. Uh, so first off, my Dragonair is a 95% perfection when it comes to... Uh, IVs. So 95%. That's pretty freaking awesome. Gastly is 91. Uh, Grimer is 91 to 93. Gastly is just, just literally 91. No matter what way, uh, no matter what, he's not going to go up and he's not going to go down. And uh, Pinsir, I guess, is 86 to 93. And these are the ones that have IV checked already, except for the Scyther. The Scyther I just kept because Scyther's badass. Uh, Scyther's actually pretty crappy stats. But uh, I didn't know if I was going to get another one. And then everything from here on out, I have uh, not gone off and checked for IVs. So I have uh, a lot of IV checking to do. And uh, yeah, pretty freaking awesome. I'm going to be doing a video on how to check your IVs. It's really not that hard. And you don't have to worry about getting banned because it just doesn't make sense why they would ban people for that. So as always, thanks for watching. Make sure to comment, rate, and subscribe. And peace out.